Good morning, welcome to my channel. And what I want to speak about today is the next pandemic that's lined up. Yeah, the next pandemic, folks. Pandemic. Not pandemic, pandemic. Because the first one was planned. And now the next one is planned for 2025, folks. Yes, 2025. But before I get into this, I want to use copyright claim 107 for educational purposes. Fair use, fair use, folks. For learning, teaching, educating, folks. This is what it's all about. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to jump right into this, folks. Because this is serious, folks. Yeah, they got a next pandemic plan for 2025. And we're going to jump right into this, folks. All right. Chimed on it too. I want you to listen to this guy. Check this out. People will say some things I really want to say. Check this out. So, we have some scary news that I want to uncover today. First off, we have the date of the next pandemic. When is this going to be and where is this going to originate from? We've heard from people like Bill Gates, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the World Health Organization, and Johns Hopkins University. Now, what I can tell you, and I'm going to show you some stuff today that you are probably going to be shocked that you're even seeing, but it's out there. Now, I've got a lot of questions from people asking about inflation, asking about the recession, asking about the U.S. economy and so much more, and saying that, okay, this is going to be a tough year, 2022 and 2023, but things will get back to normal probably early 2024. Well, the date of this next pandemic is 2025. That is a very important date to understand. Now, let's go through some of this stuff, okay? What is scary about everything that's going on right now, and again, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below, is that former President Barack Obama, he ran simulations during his presidency as to how to test his administration and how to deal with the pandemic if it were to occur. Even former President uh, Donald Trump, he was warned by Dr. Anthony Fauci, and Dr. Fauci told him that there would be a pandemic sometime during his presidency, but didn't tell him when. That's interesting. And now, Bill Gates, the World Health Organization, and Johns Hopkins University, they're now conducting exercises, or they conducted a pandemic exercise just recently in Belgium. They called this the catastrophic contagion event. Yeah, the catastrophic contagion event. That's what they named it. Now... Now look, didn't I tell you people? See, I told y'all way back when that all of this stuff was planned by design people. I've been telling people this for the longest time, folks. All of this stuff has been planned by design people. Do you hear what I'm saying? Planned by design. So they're telling you the next pandemic is going to be 2025. But at least they're giving enough time to get prepared for it. At least they're giving us that much, you know, to let us get prepared. This is crazy, isn't it? Like I said, they're hiding nothing no more. They're putting it all on the front line, people. And guess who's behind all of this? Mr. Bill Gates. Yes, Mr. Bill Gates. So like I said, all of these people with the money out here, they're running the show, folks. They're running the show. But don't you ever forget who's in charge. We're going to get back to this clip. Can you imagine what it's going to do? In this lockdown procedure, 
it says that this would mean that there'd be homeschooling, there'd be work from home policies, non-essential businesses would close down until a vaccine was ready. And even in their statement, even in this website, it's from a government website, that's uh, from CISA.gov, in this, in this uh, website, it is specifically saying that the, the goal of a lockdown is to bring down the transmissible cases so that more and more people are not being infected. And once the number comes down and it's somewhat steady, hopefully there will be a vaccine ready by that time. But again, just think about how long it took. What did it take, like, eight months? Can you imagine what the economy would be like? Can you imagine? We got two years to come out of this unannounced recession. Inflation. The stuff that's going overseas. All the money that we putting overseas and not taking care of people here at home. So let's say hypothetically we start to see a little bit of the light last quarter 2023, early 2024. And then this pops up. Mr. 666. Drinking warm water before bed fixes this is where we're at, people. problems overnight. People. This is what's happening out here, people. Like I said, everything is planned by design, people. I hope this will wake somebody up because I've been talking about this stuff and I've been talking about this stuff and I've been telling people about this stuff. But now you heard it for yourself, folks. That's right. You heard it for yourself. So you didn't want to take my word. But now that I let you hear this for yourself, what are you going to do? Are you going to plan for this thing? Are you going to get yourself prepared for this thing? Or are you going to just keep walking around aimlessly in this world doing nothing? Prepare yourself. So if you like this work, folks, stay tuned. Because I got lots more to come. Thank you.